What's up guys, Sawyer here with Utah Air Guns. Today we are going to bring you a kind of a review that I've been looking forward to for a while and we're gonna be covering the Element Titan 3K rangefinder. This is their ballistic rangefinder, the one that's a little bit bigger than the Helix, but they both have the same uh, ballistic solving software that has Element chip in it. So basically what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be covering mainly the rangefinder, but we're also be going we will also be going over their the Element Ballistics app because they can talk to each other. We're going to be using an FX True Ballistics Chronograph. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of show you how to build a profile. We're gonna be doing that with two rifles. I have my FX Dynamic, and then I have a 6.5 Creedmoor rifle that I'll be shooting in an NRL Hunter match. So we're gonna be building profiles for both of those in the app using the True Ballistics Chronograph, getting our, uh, getting our velocity, We'll be inputting everything we need into the app, and then we'll be connecting the app to the Element uh, Titan 3K because it is ballistic. You can range something and it'll give you a firing solution right under your range. I'm also gonna compare it straight across to my Kestrel because it is running an applied ballistic solving software. So I just wanna see how well that's lining up and because that's, that's kind of the industry standard, what's been around the longest as far as uh, solving software goes, unless you're one of the dudes that solved on the Palm Pilot back in the day. But yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Ah, that was the coolest thing ever. We'll shoot over the chronograph, get a good velocity, and I'll just go through building that profile. And then I will find a target up here. Let's, uh, I'll be honest, I forgot a target today, but we're in a rock rich environment. We've got kind of a, a rock slide up there that has a bunch of small kind of white rocks we'll be able to pick out fairly easily. And I'm just gonna, stretch out both rifles to not quite to their limit and i just want to see how well how accurate that uh ballistics data that firing solution that the the titan 3k is going to give us is so we'll pick a target up there and we'll shoot it and we'll see how accurate it is there we go Got an average of 1,007. It's kind of cold today, so that might be affecting the, the consistency of my velocity. But yeah, so let's go ahead and plug that into the Element app. I'm gonna go into profile one. I'll show the bullet library real quick. So you go into air gun projectiles, click H and N, I click 22 slug. I'm shooting, it's already selected. I'm shooting the 34 grain slugs. So I'll select that. And then let's go into muzzle velocity and I'll bring it down to 1007. Click done. My sight height and zero range is already put in here. So you'll just click and input those. You wanna put your uh, correct uh, twist rate in there. Click update. And that's pretty much the gist of adding the profile. You do want to make sure, especially on an air rifle, that your sight height is as, as close as you can get it. So just a easy measuring tape, measuring from the center of the board to the center of your optic. And that's the, the measurement that you'll put into there. Another thing that is very critical to the precision of this app and any ballistic calculator is in your like the atmospherics, you really want to get your uh, pressure correct. And with this, I'll show while I'm recording, when I go to get from the internet, it'll change it. So it's saying uh, 30, which is not correct. I pulled from my Kestrel and it is uh, 25.05, so I'll put that back in. And that can, that can change quite a bit. Before uh, we were rolling, I was doing a little bit of testing just to see the difference. And with, the, with 30, it was putting me about three tenths high. And I put in the correct pressure and the dope was lining up perfect. So you definitely wanna make sure you do that 
and I'm pulling from a Kestrel. It's a weather meter, but it also has ballistic capability. But I just wanted to show that you really need to be putting that in there. You can also get little um, weather meters that you can plug in that will do wind speed, uh, pressure, density, altitude, just all, the, all that stuff so that you can be as accurate as possible. So once you've got that all set, you're pretty much ready to go. So I'll show connecting to it. So I've got the Titan 3K right here. I'm just gonna power it on and you'll see that pops up right there at the bottom. I'm gonna click on that and it'll have four profiles. I've got two built. I'm gonna click uh, switch off inactive for uh, five minutes just so it stays on longer. But I'm gonna click upload profile one and then we're set. So now, anytime I range something in ballistics mode, it is going to give me a firing solution for that ballistic profile that I just built. We're gonna lay the target. I've got, there's a few little white rocks up on that rock slide that are pretty prominent, fairly small, probably around four to five inches wide or tall. So I'm gonna lay them. It's gonna give me a firing solution. I'm gonna put that into the uh, dynamic and we'll see how close the dope is. So let's see what we're looking at. So it's telling me 196, so 7.6. So I'm already 7.5, so let's do 7.6. All right, we got some pretty good wind, so I'm gonna start with like 1.6 left for the level. Ooh, elevation is good, so that means dope is good. My wind was bad, it's about 2.3, 2.4. There it is. Perfect hit. That dope is lining up really well. That's also what my Kestrel said, so that's, that's pretty cool. It's a lot easier than ranging with your normal range finder, going in, plugging in angle and uh, distance and everything to your whatever other solver you're using. It just, it's instant. You'll see it in the in-camera view. It's less than a second and you have a firing solution. So that is super cool, especially with the air gun. We're behind the bolt gun now. We're gonna do five quick shots, get a good velocity, do the same thing we do with the dynamic, build out a profile, and then we're gonna stretch it out and see how well the element ballistics lines up with AB. So we're gonna go over to profile two, go into full bore bullets. I've already got this one loaded up, so going to Hornady 6.5. We were shooting the 143 ELDX, going to muzzle velocity. We got 27.15 as an average, 27.15. And then sight height, about 2.5, zero range, 100. And twist rate, so we're gonna hit update. And then we'll make sure that our weather settings are the same. We wanna make sure that uh, pressure is the same. So now, looking pretty good. Make sure everything's good. So now we're gonna find a target. I was shooting at a rock last time I was up here that was about 1,200 yards. So I'm gonna see if I can find it. Okay, there's a good rock right there. Oh wait, hold on. I need to send this profile. It was about to say we we're gonna to have to dial up like a thousand mils for the air gun. <laughs> All right, so we'll go to profile two. I'm gonna hit the button again. You'll see that pop up there. Okay, there we go. I just had to uh, exit out of the app and open it back up. So now I'm gonna do upload profile two. So now let's see what it's saying for that distance. Twelve twenty-seven. So it's saying eleven point four. It feels right to left at me, probably eight to 11 miles an hour. And I'm seeing some cotton, I'm seeing Mirage, still bubbling right to left. See there, just went something. So we've got about a six mile an hour gun, eight to 11, 1200. I'm gonna start with a 1.6 right hold. My camera's kind of blocking me to sea level. 
All right, let's start with the 1.6 right. Hold. Oh, the elevation was good. There must be a switchy wind back there. So we'll go over just some quick specs on the Titan 3K. Um, starting off, it is a seven times magnification optic. It says in the name 3K. So I'm assuming that means range to 3000 yards and it says that in the specs. It runs off an 18650 battery. It is USB-C rechargeable in the unit. So you can leave the battery in and you just plug your USB-C cord that it comes with into there. That's something that I really like. One, because 18650s last forever, especially in a system like this. Like you could probably run it all season, all hunting season or all PRS season and not need to charge it, but you should still charge it just because you never want to be without it. Some things that I really like are the menu navigation. Super simple. It's either just to, to go from yards to uh, meters, this menu button, you just double tap that quickly to change the brightness. It's just press both buttons at the same time to toggle up and down on the brightness of the, the reticle. You can change from ballistic to just range finding really easily. That's just a tap of the menu button. Both the Titan 3K and the Helix both come in a very nice case that has Molly on the back. So you can just integrate, integrate that right into whatever kind of bino rig or harness or kit you're using for your setup. That's, that's one thing that I really like because most of the other things that I've bought, like my other binos, everything, I have to buy a sec separate case to integrate it into my gear. But this is something that I really like, high quality and Molly. So that's, that's, a, that's a huge plus in my book. So one huge benefit to this compared to the competition is the price point. It's gonna be way more affordable than like the next standalone ballistic rangefinder. It's gonna be a couple hundred dollars less than that. Definitely under a thousand bucks. So that's that's awesome for, for guys that are just wanna be on a budget. You know, you don't wanna spend two, three grand on a rangefinder if it's binos and ballistic or whatever. This is going to get you very solid ballistics data very accurate ranging, very quick solutions for a very good price, both this and the Helix. All right, guys, so we're wrapping up the video. Hope you liked it. I didn't have as much ammo for 6.5 as I thought I did, so we only got that one shot off, but elevation was perfect. My wind call was just a little bit off. We have some a lot of draws, so we have some conflicting winds, so... Yeah, bad wind call. Elevation was perfect, though, so I'll, I'll say the, the Element Ballistics ship is solid. It's very fast. We lazed a 1200 yard rock, so not very reflective, very, very easily. But yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed with the element. I'm still gonna, we're still gonna keep testing them and running them hard, but so far they are, they're pretty sick. Now let us know what else you guys wanna see as far as reviews goes, any more things you wanna see on like the, the element uh, Titan 3K or the Helix range finders any support gear, more rifle stuff, just drop them in the comments. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.